Three, two, one, action! Now! Someone on this flight is threatening to kill someone every 20 minutes unless $150 million is transferred to this account number. This is your second time working with Liam Neeson mm -hmm. uh, on a film. Did it take any convincing to get such a tall actor to work in a confined space yeah. with you for so long? No, no, he enjoyed it. I think that uh, it, it really, the fact that we were all in one set for so long, it really created one of those rare atmospheres uh, in a film crew hmm. and, and actors that became like a family because every actor was there every day. Because hmm. they had to be because they were passengers. That's so usually, usually an actor does their scene and they come back after two weeks when it's time to do another scene. Mm -hmm. But here they had to be there. So I, I think all the actors became really good friends and it was a good experience for them. And uh, so that was obviously an advantage to working in the small space mm -hmm. and working in the mm -hmm. one location was you were saying that, you know, it created an intimacy. Uh -huh. um, were there any challenges that were presented that you had to overcome? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, shooting a movie in an airplane is like constantly boarding for like two months. You're constantly in the aisles, moving equipment. People are sitting down, standing up. So... As annoying as it is to board a plane, imagine that for two months. That's yeah. what it was like. <laughs> You're bumping into people, excuse me, can I do this? You know, it's just uh, tremendously it, um, it, uh, stressful, mm. I would say, you know. And mm. I think it takes a lot of goodwill from everybody to be in, you know, sort of happy and not annoyed. Because um, <laughs> only one person can do one thing at a time, you know. Uh, so the crew were wonderful in that aspect. And, and that was, you know, that was the main challenge, obviously. You recently founded Umbra Films, mm -hmm. um, and I'm really interested in that. That's your own company to promote up-and-coming Spanish mm -hmm. directors. Yes. How does it feel to be able to give back to your peers that way? No, it feels great. I think it's... Uh, I, I left Spain to go to L.A. to follow a dream, and I, I'm not the only one with that dream. And, you know, it's always good to help people accomplish that. You know, I think um, the film industry can be very scary and accessible for people from other countries. And that doesn't mean that they don't deserve to be there. They still, you know, have talent and their dreams, and I'll do anything to try to help out, you know. Wow.